Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a faux shirt collar with a bow tie. Here's an overview of everything you need. You'll need some nice shears, a pair of hemostats, some nice big fat ribbon, and then a smaller ribbon, I'm obsessed with glitter. You'll need a rubber band or small hair tie, then an option or two or ton <laughs> for decorating your bow at the end. You'll also need a hot glue gun. This is mine. It's Kelday. It's battery operated, 30 second warm up. I love it. And then I have a nice little pad that catches all the glue um, that's easy to remove the glue from. Now what you'll do to start is take your big fat chunky ribbon, measure your length out for what you approximately think you're going to need for your dog. And then I always like to give myself just a tiny bit extra and then make a nice flat cut across however much length you think you will need. Once you're done cutting your length, the next thing you're gonna to need to grab are those hemostats because the wire, if yours doesn't have wire, you can skip this step, but I don't like wired ribbon. So I'm gonna clamp those hemostats down on the corner and pull, and that will remove the wire. I find the wire is more of a safety hazard than it's worth for maintaining the integrity of the structure of the ribbon. So I take it out, but that's up to you. The next thing you're gonna need to do is find your right side or your wrong side. Mine has glitter on the one side and it's flat on the other. So I'm going to put my correct side up and then fold it over to create a small sort of shirt collar and we are going to glue this down. So I'm gonna turn my hot glue gun on real quick because it warms up so fast. And then I am going to glue across the edge of that ribbon and fold it down. If you have a thinner ribbon, you do not need to do this part. Just skip making the faux like collar fold. Um, it's super cute. I did it all summer with that thinner ribbon um, without this step works just as good. But if you have this big fat ribbon, I love making this little extra detail. So you're gonna fold about a third of that width down and glue it all in place. I went ahead and sped up this part of the process for you because I am very detailed and I always take my time when doing this part. So I didn't want you to have to sit around and watch me do that whole thing. But once you've got it all glued down, now we're gonna create the front of the collar. So we're gonna fold the top corner down to the bottom to create a nice little wedge that will be the front of the shirt collar. So now you're gonna glue that in place and then you will end up doing the same thing to the other side, making sure that you have the points on the same edges, if that makes sense. You don't want to have the long side on the top and then the long side on the bottom of the opposite side. You want it to be able to match up so that when you're uh, folding it around, you have that nice collar look. If you glued it the opposite way, you made a mistake and we'll have to start over. The other thing is you want those two long edges to match. You don't want to put the points together. That way it actually looks like a shirt collar. So make sure you're gluing those long edges when we glue our bow on by those two points. So the next thing we're gonna do is set that aside and we're gonna make a little faux bow tie ribbon. You'll need a rubber band for this step and your smaller ribbon. So I'm gonna go ahead and create my little faux ribbon by wrapping the two loops just around the ribbon and finding the center point. And then I will do a small accordion fold right there in the center of where I want my ribbon to be, just to help maintain the integrity of that bow a little bit. And then we're gonna wrap that rubber band around the center of that little accordion fold as many times as that little rubber band will allow us to. 
I use slightly thicker and larger rubber bands for this because they hold up to the hot glue better than those teeny tiny ones that we would use for making ear bows. And then I'm gonna cut that length of ribbon right to where I want those two long ribbon tassels to be. Next step, we're gonna attach the bow tie to the faux collar. And we want the collar points facing down again, so make sure to glue on the long sides, not the points. Now what I like to do is I like to make sure that this ribbon is not glued by those edge edges. I'm going to glue a little bit further in to the ribbon so that it doesn't pull that bow tie super taut and super flat. And you'll see what I mean by that here in just a moment. I'm gonna put that bow just a little bit toward the middle of that one round of the, the bow edge. Not gonna go all the way to the corner. I don't want it super flat. I want that bow to maintain that little bit of kind of bubbly, puffed outness. So it's super cute and maintains a little bit of three dimension. And then we're gonna glue to the other side in the same fashion with the little dollop of glue at the center of the long edge, not the point again. And then here's a better angle where you can see how I'm attaching it so that we maintain the three dimensionality of that bow. Make sure it's good and on there so that when you're sliding it over a dog's head, it doesn't pop off. And there's your basic collar with the bow tie, but now we need to add some detail to hide that little rubber band. So now here's where the kit of fun comes in. Now it's Halloween, so why not some googly eyes? I'm gonna go with a green one and I'll mount it on one of these black puffs. Wanna make sure it's nice and round that that's gonna fit on there. Sure does, that's gonna be super fun. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I accidentally dropped it, but now we're gonna go ahead and get that little puff nice and circular and round and fluff it back up so that it will hold that little googly eye really well. And then we are gonna go ahead and get that hot glue gun going and get that eye googly eye glued onto our little decoration puff. There we go. Hold it there for a second, just for good measure. And it Googles real good still, so <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Then we're gonna go ahead and take that hot glue, and the last step is to glue that onto the rubber band to hide that little rubber band on our faux bow. Now I'm gonna cool my glue off to just a second so that hopefully it doesn't melt that rubber band right off. It shouldn't because I know how my glue and my rubber bands act together. And we're good. There we go. So this is our little finished faux shirt collar with a bow tie uh, for Halloween, this one. But I like to do it for pretty much all my special clients. Uh, for the boys, I make a little more feminine ones for the girls. But here's a close-up shot. They come out super cute. I'm really loving the googly eye. <laughs> the jiggle's the best. <laughs> and here it is on a client. Uh, this one didn't have a googly eye, but still wonderful. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this answers all of your questions. Feel free to drop me a message if you have anything else. Thanks, bye.